G'day guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are talking about the standing dumbbell bicep curl. Fantastic exercise in order to really generate some serious loads through your bicep and obviously generate some serious mass through your arms and through your biceps. First thing we need to cover with this is that obviously with the standing bicep curl you can either do them alternating or two at a time. Um, a lot of people when they do this exercise find themselves um, swinging and using any, um, at, or, or they correlate heavier weight equals greater gains, and that isn't the case at all. Remember, what we wanna do is place as much tension and stimulus on that bicep and accumulate that over a long period of time. Now, this is where swinging and, and generating momentum through your hips and your feet and your legs um, is a disadvantage is because it takes that tension away. You, you're not lifting that weight with the said muscle, you're lifting that weight with momentum momentum, okay, you're swinging. So that tends to be one of the number one issues when it comes to people doing dumbbell bicep curls standing is that they're too busy worried about looking good in the mirror and for the ladies. Now don't get me wrong, we all like looking good for um, whoever it is you want to attract, but <clears throat> what we need to understand is that, again, stimulus created or uh, uh, generated over a long period of time is going to give us a, better, um, a bigger and better benefits, okay, or, or greater results, and that's probably going to attract who you want to attract anyway, if, if that's um, the type of person you are and think the biceps are the way to go. <clears throat> Now, let's discuss then how we can limit these factors so that we're not actually getting into a position whereby we might swing. So, what we need to understand is that because we are using dumbbells and we are um, in, in time and space, so, so it's a free weight exercise and we, we have our whole body to work with, um, and we're not relying on any machines or anything like that, we need to make sure that we're stable absolutely everywhere, or generate as much stability as possible. Now, if we remember our acronym, STEP, okay, we wanna create stability attention, execution, and then performance. So, stability, what are we looking to do? Well, we're actually are looking to lock up our ankles, our knees, and our hips. And the reason being is because a lot of people will come up onto their toes, they'll give me a half squat, okay, or they'll push with their hips, which is, tends to be one of the uh, more uh, used options. So, what we're looking to do is we're gonna screw our feet in, so that should lock out our, uh, our ankles and not be able to get up on our toes without lifting off the ground. Number two is that we're gonna lock our knees out, we're gonna tense our quads, and number three is we're gonna tense our bum. So our quads and our bum should be on, which eliminates the swing factor. Okay, our quads are gonna lock out our knees and our ankles are gonna be screwed in. That's our lower body done. Now, we know the bicep goes over two joints, comes up into the shoulder. Okay, so what we wanna make sure that we are doing when we are doing our, our bicep curls is that we're pulling our shoulder blades back and down and we're eliminating, um, engaging our shoulders by coming up too high. So you see frequently a lot of people will do, a, will do this uh, movement pattern where <clears throat> they won't have their shoulder blades back and down, they'll come up and under. Now, I understand why they do that because our biceps inserts into our shoulders. So if we come up slightly, we're going to get a, a far greater contraction um, in the bicep, okay? Now, a slight um, forward rotation is fine, but where they get themselves unstuck is they come right up and under and they end up having this weight um, over the top of the shoulder, which then starts to make this bicep go lax because the weight isn't outside the line of the elbow. Okay, so what we need to understand is that if I was to let go of the dumbbell right there and then, it would be going through my shoulder. Okay, so there's no tension here because it's not outside the line of this elbow. But if I could come up and I come slightly forward with the elbow but end up in this position, you can see that the weight if I was to drop it would go straight down in that pattern, which means we still have tension on this bicep. Okay, so that's why we pull these shoulder blades back and down, we wanna come slightly forward, but not all the way up and under. Okay, so we don't wanna end up in this position here. Okay, so that, that's, that's the number one point. Number two is that <clears throat> people will rotate, okay? And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with the rotation. But <clears throat> what we need to understand is our line of pull. Now, what is line of pull? Line of pull is essentially three points always being in a line. Our shoulder, our elbow, and our wrist, okay? So when we are doing any bicep work, we are looking to go 
in this line of pull here okay now you can see that I'm slightly tilting my wrist out now that you want to do at the very top okay because if I start coming out like this what you'll notice is that the line of pull is now out okay so my wrist ends up outside the line of my elbow outside the line of my shoulder which can generate some elbow issues over a prolonged period of time so when we are coming up we're just giving that lot slight little turn or rotation um, externally at the top and then we're coming back down but we're keeping that nice straight line of pull okay so let's go through this um, standing dumbbell curl right we're screw our feet in, lock our knees out, squeeze our bum on. That's going to take care of the lower portion of our body. Okay. From here, shoulder blades are going to come back and down, and we can either go one with a slight little twist out, okay, or we can go two with a slight little twist out. All right. And this is how rigid you want to be whilst you're doing your bicep curls. Now, normally I would then go on and talk about, okay, so lengthening. Uh, well, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> so if you've watched my, my barbell demonstration of a bicep curl, I'll get you to keep your elbow slightly forward because when we come down, the barbell will hit your hips and you won't be able to get that full range. However, with the, with the dumbbells, obviously that's not a factor because our hips can go in the way. So we can actually stand relatively um, straight and go up and down. Now, again, back to the tension issue at the top here. We don't want to lose that tension at the bottom. So if we go straight down and relax at this point and we switch off our elbows, we've lost tension through that bicep, okay? So a great example as to how to generate or keep tension through the bicep is getting a friend, or, or you can do it yourself, okay? I want you to push hard against your, your other hand, but this hand's going to keep pushing down and override this bicep here, okay? So we're, push, we're tensing, pushing down, and you can see I'm at full length here, but that bicep's still on, right? But if I let go, it goes lax. See that? Okay, so what I'm getting at here is that we want to make sure that when we're in the bottom portion of this lift, that we are still having tension on. Now we can we can change the mechanics of this bicep by simply, or, or the mechanics of this curl by simply moving our elbows forward. So when we're at full extension, it's back to that, that if I was to drop the, the bicep, it would go down in that path rather than be straight down in line with me. Okay, so being slightly forward is gonna put a lot more tension onto this bicep. So it's on you to keep that tension through the bicep by controlling your weight down, popping back up. Control that weight down, pop back up. Okay, so again, at the bottom of the lift, we don't wanna go lax, because if we go lax, we, can, we expose this joint to issues, but at the bottom of the lift, we wanna keep it nice and tensed, slightly forward, coming up, squeeze, okay? Coming up, squeeze. And that there team is how you want to go about doing your dumbbell standing bicep curl, whether that be alternating or whether that be straight up and down like so.